All right, so in this video, we're going to talk about a common question that people have is, why does volume contraction lead to a metabolic alkalosis? So we're going to make this really simple. So let's begin by drawing a nephron over here. All right, so here we have our nephron. Of course, here we have the proximal convoluted tubule. And here we have the distal convoluted tubule. And of course, filtration goes in this direction over here, out into the collecting duct, into the toilet. So what happens when there's a volume contraction? Of course, that's going to lead to an increase in renin, which leads to an increase in aldosterone secretion. It's the effect that aldosterone has that leads to the metabolic alkalosis. Let's explain. So what does aldosterone do? Well, the most famous thing that aldosterone does is that it works on the sodium-potassium pump. And namely, it increases its activity. So more sodium will be reabsorbed, and more potassium will go into the tubule and into the urine. So let's focus on this. If there's going to be more potassium in the urine, there's going to be a hypokalemia. So let's take a look at the cell over here. So this is the cell. And remember, potassium is an intracellular ion, so it's primarily inside the cell. There's a little bit outside the cell. But when there's a hypokalemia, that's mainly going to affect the intracellular concentration of potassium, and that's going to go down. So if potassium goes down inside the cell, that will draw hydrogen into the cell because of the charge difference. With less hydrogen outside the cell, it's gonna to lead to a metabolic alkalosis. Okay, so that's the first way volume contraction leads to a metabolic alkalosis. But aldosterone has another function, and that's to work on the hydrogen ATPase in the collecting duct. And basically, hydrogen is dumped into the collecting duct. And of course, as hydrogen is dumped into the collecting duct, there's less hydrogen in the extracellular fluid, and that leads, to, again, to a metabolic alkalosis. So there are two reasons why the increase in aldosterone leads to a metabolic alkalosis, and that was caused by this volume contraction. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this scene. Please subscribe to our channel. Let me know if you have any questions, and take care.